going to y'all and you don't stop. What's up, House of Pain fans? Thank you for listening today. So there's new word on the streets that our girl China will be back to entertain us soon. Yes, Actors Access gave me the tea. If you have a dream for acting and looking to shoot your shot with Mr. Perry and meet some cool personalities in Hollywood South, here's where your ticket will be granted. Look for Raven Drummer, who is the casting director for Tyler's Projects, and make that dream happen, partner. And I hope to see you on TV soon. Have your resume and headshot ready. So back to the business at hand. Because I don't like wasting my time and I don't like wasting yours. So, if you've been watching season 9, you know that Jasmine is a college student, which explains her absence from the show. The last time we seen her was in season 9 episode 20, If You Loved Me, when she was dealing with her now ex-boyfriend Caleb, who's Chris Brown without the music in everyone's eyes. And this was played by Terrell Hill, who you may have seen on The Available Wife on BET Plus, Christmas Lottery, and he was also on Tyler Perry's Acrimony as well. And um, and he was pressuring Jasmine to have sex with him. And thankfully, she rejected that because his character obviously was just a fuck boy. And nine times out of ten, it would have just been a hit and quit if she gave it up. And he was the preacher's kid. And y'all know what they say about the preacher's kids. You know, they always say that the preacher kids are always the wildest ones. And little did we know he was wild. So that tells you what you need to know there. So big ups to Jazzy for making good decisions. Anyway. This time around, we're dealing with a college professor named Lewis. Hey, professor! <laughs> He's a young intellectual guy who challenges the minds of his students, and Jasmine happens to be one of his students, and apparently Lewis is her favorite, and she invites him over to dinner with the Pains, where they find out that he's an atheist. And you know with a deeply religious family like the Pains, you know that's going to start a debate. So they gave us a little sip of tea to confirm Jasmine's return. And to tell you the truth, I'm really not surprised because I knew it was a matter of time before she would return. You know, I understood her character was a college student prior to her long absence on the show. And China herself, who plays Jasmine, postponed her acting career for a while after Black Lightning was canceled. But hey, faith moved mountains. And look at what we're about to see. He's a wonder. So with that being said, this kind of gives me more reassurance that Janine isn't dead and that she too will be returning. Watch my last video. I know she ain't dead. Like, she just can't be. Like, it wouldn't really make sense, especially for her being a longtime character, and to just kill her off like that after not seeing her for a whole season would just be foul. Like, that would just be like when they killed all James Evans from Good Times. The fact that his death was off screen and the family found out through telegraph via mail that the husband and father is gone and now they're stuck in the projects with Soko. And for those who don't know about Good Times, they were supposed to move out of the Cabrini Green projects in Chicago to Mississippi before they found out about James, the father, was killed in a car accident. I unapologetically have an old soul, so excuse me for the newer generations watching this video. But anyway... If you watched the haves and the have-nots and if loving you was wrong when Tyler was on the Oprah Winfrey Network, you already know Tyler's characters are anointed with cat lives. Just when you think they're dead, they come back in the next season to be like, still here, bitches. <laughs> Excuse my French, but yeah, don't overestimate and keep calm. She'll be back alive and in one piece. We'll also be seeing little Christian in motion too as they're looking for a five to eight year old boy playing him. Um, and I'm still confused on these timelines because at this point, I feel like Christian should be a teenager by now or at least a preteen. But then again, if you don't count the TV time, these timelines may be taking place before 2020, perhaps sometime around 2016 to 17, around the same time period Curtis and Ella would have been in Florida, which would make sense because Christian came into the picture sometime around 2009 or 2010. So if he's at least eight years old, then these timelines will be around 2016 to 17 or maybe 18, which may explain why COVID has never been mentioned in the show yet. I don't know. There's really no time frame in the Tyler Perry's universe. You kind of have to customize the time for yourself as long as we're watching. Right. <laughs> but unfortunately, Jasmine's return is very likely to be after season 11. That's around the corner. She could possibly be. In the second half of season 11 as well. But the 12th season is very likely to be when we will see 
her because they already shot season 11 last year and they're in the process of of shooting this 12th season now. So be on the lookout. All hope is not lost, my friends. Got any thoughts? Hit that comment section, baby. I love you for listening today and I will see you next time right here on Joshua.